Oh, I'm doing okay. It was pretty rough waking up at 4.45 for the physical this morning, though, but... You'll get used to it. So, what's next? Uh, you'll have your pre-enlistment interview, then your oath of enlistment ceremony. This time tomorrow, you'll be in basic training. Oh, moves fast. Is that a problem? No, but it's good. I, uh, I wanted to get started right away. That's what I like to hear. Noah! Here? Um, yeah, I'll say hello. I'll be right back. Are you officially enlisted? Almost. Did you come to see me off? I need to talk to you. So you came here to try and change my mind. I'm sorry, but it won't work. No, can we at least talk? Please, this, this might be the last time we see each other. I have to get back to my recruiter. But uh, I'm staying at the hotel, just two blocks down the street to the left. I'll be there. Meet me outside in um, 10 minutes. So should I, um, should I get back? We'll be leaving for the processing center in 30 minutes. If you don't have any other questions, I'm going to uh, take off, talk to the other recruits. Well, I'm all set. Oh, I almost forgot. Your friend, the one we ran into? Yeah, what about him? You can invite family or friends to the Oath of Enlistment ceremony if you like, so... No. There's no one I want there. Thanks. Got a few minutes, so whatever you get well, to say. Can we at least go talk in your room? No, there's no visitors allowed during processing. Please, no, think about what I said. This soldier thing, it's not about you, it's about your dad. Maybe partly, but, but not completely. Uh, okay, well, I understand the need to be something bigger than yourself. I understand the need to to want to make a change, but but joining the army is not the way. That's not what you want. Um, don't tell me what I want. Then you need to explain this again. Because I remember your dad wanted you to live that life, and you stood up to him and told him that's not what you wanted. What changed? Maybe I did. Well, maybe you didn't know me as well as, as you thought you did. <laughs> so, the Noah that I fell in love with, that's, that's not the real Noah? The Noah that says he loves me is not the real Noah? The real Noah is this army guy? Look, I've got to get back. I'm glad I got to see you one more time. Noah! What are you doing here? I told you the policy, no visitors. I don't care. I've got to say this. Luke, I'm not kidding. You've got to leave. There are no unauthorized persons in here, okay? It's against regulations. You, you want to get me kicked out? Would that be a bad thing? Why are you doing this? I am trying to save your life. Well, I got a newsflash for you. The army teaches you how to not get killed. And you know what? I'm a pretty good student, so would you please just leave? No. The army is not the answer. Not for you. You're gay. I'm aware of that. So it's the whole don't ask, don't tell thing. You don't get to talk about being gay. You don't get to tell people you're gay. You don't get to act upon it. Well, you're the only one I want to be with, so I'm not worried about acting on it. And I won't be talking about it because It'll just make me miss you more. So the whole don't ask, don't tell thing, it works for me. So you'd be fine with not putting my picture in your locker or, or not being able to read my letters to your friends? Luke, it's just for a few years. Years? God, I, I wish your father wasn't dead. Because if, if he was alive and he brought this up, you would laugh in his face. Yeah, well, you know what? He is dead, and it woke me up. I can't just go to school and make movies. I've, I've got to do something with my life. Yeah, but, but this... It's like your dad is running your life from the grave or something. And what are you doing? I mean, coming here, you're talking to me like, like I'm too stupid to make my own decisions. No, Noah, I am terrified. I am so scared. I, I am so scared. It's like I can't even breathe. Well, I'll be okay. I will. I'll be okay. Mayor, open up. right down in a sec. Is there some reason we can't come in, Mayor? No. <laughs> you 
You were fully informed of the policy, Mayor. Who's this? I'm a boyfriend. Did Mayor invite you up to this room? No. Will you tell him? What if he had? When I came here, I signed an agreement to follow strict rules and regulations. No alcohol, no drugs, no going past curfew, no, no unauthorized guests. Violation of these could get me kicked out. Is that true? If the mayor invited you up here, he's out. You tell him the truth? <sighs> Noah told me that there was no visitors. I didn't listen, and I came here anyways. Son, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave now. Thank you for telling the truth. <laughs> yeah. But the truth is, is that I love you. And there's no truth greater than that. Look, is it? Mm. I'm Sergeant Hopper. Well, if you're here to tell me to get lost, I'm not going to. I'm waiting for Noah. I have every right. I've got no argument with that. I just thought you might like some water while you were waiting. Oh. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry. That was rude it's of me. It's understandable. Sometimes it's tough for friends and family to understand the decision to join the military. Especially when it comes out of nowhere. This is never what Noah wanted. Luke, we don't enlist recruits who don't want to be here. You pressured him. You think he's that easy to manipulate it? This isn't what Noah wants. Noah wants to be with me. He loves me. I wouldn't know anything about that. And you don't want to know anything about that, right? Don't ask, don't tell. Well, I'm telling you, right now, for Noah, this is wrong. And I'm not going to stand by and let it happen. Enjoy your word, and you can stay as long as you like. I'm going to talk him out of it. Then do your best. Because if talking to you one last time is enough to make Noah change his mind, then you're absolutely right. He doesn't belong in the Army. I was telling the truth before, Sergeant Davis. I mean, he did follow me here. I believe you, but be warned. If there's some part of you that is uncomfortable with your decision to enlist, you shouldn't sign the oath. So what, now you don't want me? Of course we want exemplary young people like you. But what do you want, Noah? I want to serve my country. And let's get about doing that. Noah! Noah! Don't do this! Don't go! I love you!